So one of the hardest things as a furniture maker, at least for me, is being completely original in a design. Take this bed I'm building, for example. Sure, there is not gonna be another bed that looks exactly like this, but this double roundover pattern is nothing new. So as I'm working, I'm wondering if it's important or not to be completely original. Is it worth spending all the extra time designing and redesigning and redesigning trying to come up with an original idea? And is it even possible to have an original idea anymore? I think it is possible, but I think it is quite rare. So this begs the question, is it worth trying to be original? So we need to answer this question on two fronts, the business front and the creative front. And for the sake of this conversation, let's just assume that having a completely original idea and design is possible which I think is debatable, but let's just assume it is possible. So on the business front, there is an upside to having an original and new design. I mean, you could start a trend that attracts a lot of customers to you because uh, you're the first person to start this trend, or you can be recognized for your completely unique style, which attracts a particular clientele. Um, these are people coming specifically to you because you're one of the only, if not the only person who makes furniture in this style. And if somebody wants that style, you're the person they're gonna go to. But with that comes drawbacks. I said new ideas were rare, which makes them inherently hard to come up with. So we can waste a lot of time on design just for design sake of trying to be original and potentially have short and long term losses. If you're wasting time trying to over design, you're wasting money if it doesn't work out. I mean often somebody just wants a simple like shaker style table and there's not much you really need to do to make that original to you. So there's no sense in spending so much design time trying to make this, this unique and completely original piece when the customer just wants something simple that's already been made but they want you to make it because you know maybe you're known for your quality of work Similarly, on the creative side, it can be pretty stressful trying to come up with a new and original idea. Especially if a customer comes to you and says, you know, I want something completely unique that you've never built before and that, you know, I, I just want something completely original that I, nobody's ever seen. That's pretty hard to dream up that type of a, an idea uh, one time, if not multiple times. But when you can come up with something original, uh, it's extremely rewarding creatively. I know I said all my work is most likely not original, but in my projects, even if I've taken elements from other pieces of furniture that I've seen, um, if I can put my own twist and unique spin on it, it is definitely very rewarding for me. As a 
the furniture maker is. I don't think having a completely new and original design idea is as important as things like the quality of work you do and the quality of your customer experiences. I think I'd rather be known for quality furniture that lasts a long time and also have a customer experience that meets and exceeds the customer's expectations and leaves every customer happy than to be known for somebody who always has a new and original idea but it may not be the best quality work. Now that's not to say that both of these things can't exist together because they definitely can but if I had to choose from a list um, having completely original and new designs would not be number one on that list. So this bed is for my wife and I, and one of the reasons I decided to build it was because I've never built anything that looks like this before. Now, like I said earlier in the video, this style and design is nothing new, and I'm not claiming it to be my original idea, using these double roundovers and the like fluted or tambour, tambour pattern, whatever you would call it. Um, but I wanted to add this piece into my portfolio to show potential clients that, hey, I can build furniture that looks like this. So even if they would want a dresser or a desk or a table that used these design elements, them knowing that my work is quality, they can come to me and say, hey, you know, I like that bed you built, but I want a table that uses those same design elements. Can you do it for me? And I'll say, of course, yeah. And with that, I don't necessarily have to dream up a new design. I can just take these concepts and transfer that to a table or like I said, a desk, a dresser whatever it might be. The bottom line is, while it's necessary and important to be original and have original ideas, my ultimate goal as a furniture maker is to grow my skill set to better serve those who I'm making custom furniture for. And to do that, you gotta make stuff and make more stuff. And sometimes make stuff like other people's stuff, but also try to make stuff like your own stuff. Does that make sense? So if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. And comment down below, what's your thoughts on originality in furniture making? And is it easy for you to come up with original ideas? Do you find yourself struggling with that? Let's talk about it below. And, and as always, I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Uh.